I made $28,000 in sales with my own dropshipping store and I didn't even have to put any money into it at all. In no gatekeeping, I'm gonna be going over exactly how I found this product, the exact website template, and I'm also gonna be going over the exact marketing strategies and videos that I used to go viral and make $28,000 in two weeks. And this is a product that I sold to make $28,000. You guys might say this is just a bat cracker, but it can do so much more. For a normal dropshipper, this might just be something to crack your back. But to me, this is a spine pain relief device. And when I saw people not marketing like that, I knew I had to come in and do it differently. So to find this product, I used a method that costs no money. And that means you don't need to pay for any subscription or any tool to find winning products. All you need to do is open up the TikTok, Instagram, or even Facebook and make a second account that you're not gonna use besides anything but to find winning products. And what you wanna do is when you create these accounts, you wanna start following and liking and engaging on a bunch of different different product accounts because what it'll do is it'll show the algorithm that you're interested in different products like these and with doing that the algorithm is going to show you more products on ads and more products on your for you page but for this product I found it through TikTok I saw a competitor selling the same exact product on TikTok but he was just marketing it as something that cracks your back but if you ever want to actually succeed with drop shipping you need to create an emotional attachment between the product and the customer so I took the route of selling this product for a spine relief product that helps you know people that work a nine to five athletes or even older people and those are just a few criteria that you should meet whenever you're trying to find a winning product before we go and see what you need on your winning website let's take a look at a website that's not so good so if you're just starting off please do not build your website like this and as you can see on this website a mistake that they already have is that there's just way too many colors on the website you have a green button with red blue purple and green text there's just way too many colors and it doesn't really have that brand feel on the website and if you look a little closely on the product description the text is pretty hard to read I don't want to sit down and have to read this text and neither does your customer making paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of text is something that you should not do ever and I mean guys I'm literally still scrolling right now it's been so long I don't even know when it's gonna stop and as you can see here as well the images there's just too many different product variants if you guys are running a one product store you should only have three variants. A lot of people think you should have more variants but in reality you should have very few so someone or a customer they don't get confused when they're checking out on their store and sometimes they don't know what color they want. Pick three nice variants that goes along with your brand feel and your brand color scheme. And as you can see here this website looks a lot better. They have custom content and if you guys are starting off with drop shipping you should have custom content on your website. You shouldn't be using a lot of AliExpress images. It doesn't take too much to get custom content, so definitely do that. Their product description is pretty easy to read as well. They only have three main colors. It's just white, blue, and black, and this makes it a lot easier to go and read the product description. I also like that they have this two-week progress picture in it. It shows real life results and I think that's really important for this type of product. But there's obviously a few things I would also change to this website. I would probably add a few GIFs because that's something that's really important to keep a really good product description. So with marketing this product on TikTok, you wanna make sure that you can find competitors that have previously gone viral. If a video on TikTok or Instagram Reels has already gone viral, chances are if you can recreate the same video with your own twist, it can go viral again. I had videos hit 10 million views and over 22 million views. And the reason for that was because I was looking at other competitors selling the same exact product, but I put my own twist on it and marketed it as a spine pain relief device. But you wanna make sure that you're not just on TikTok. You wanna make sure you're on Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. The high quality content that you make on TikTok can be re-uploaded to these different social media platforms. I was going extremely viral because I was posting at least three times a day. And eventually when I started getting sales, I had friends of mine start making videos with the same product and even had multiple TikTok pages running for this product. But anytime that you're trying to find different video tactics for your product, you wanna look at competitors and see exactly how they caught the customer's attention and do the same exact attention grabber, but make the video differently into your own brand feel. This works really well when hopping on trends with products, but also trying to separate yourself from them. And one thing that not many people know about is if you go live on TikTok while a video of yours is pumping and doing really well, 
well, it's gonna pump even harder and it's gonna get shown to way more people. So the next time you start seeing traction on your TikTok video, make sure to go live and make sure to stay live for at least 20 to 30 minutes. So in two weeks, I was able to make $28,000 in sales. And when starting this product, it took me around one week to start actually getting sales. And before that time, I was just preparing on how I was gonna make the content and how I was gonna be different than a lot of competitors. A lot of people don't have the right preparation before they start marketing the product and they wonder why they can't go viral. You need to sit down, you need to study competitors and you need to be different than them. The moment I started going viral, I went and I looked at competitors and I took their ideas, but I just made it a little bit different, but kept the same attention grabber in the video. And after implementing all these strategies for around a week, I had my first day in sales that was over $900. And out of the $28,000 in sales, I kept around $18,000 dollars in pure profit and if i was continuing to run this store up i would take the money that i made and start investing in more creators and more tiktok pages if you want to start expanding on a winning product you need to start outsourcing the content that's being made but this also goes to show you that if you implement the right strategies you do your homework you can definitely start making thousands of dollars per month online with drop shipping but when showing these big results you shouldn't have unrealistic expectations i've done multiple seven figures on online with over a million dollar brands and the one thing I can say is that I do have more experience than the average person just starting off drop shipping but this goes to show you that even if you're willing to learn that it is possible to hit days like this and with that being said I will see you guys inside the next video